Hey everybody and welcome back. Right now we're looking at Savage Opress from the Clone Wars collection. This is number 55. Um, very nice action figure. I'm sure you've seen it on the shelves and uh, of course the first thing you think when you see him aside from the fact that he's a a new character on the on the Clone Wars show is that he looks a lot like Darth Maul because he's the same race as Darth Maul. But just an amazing figure and uh, a more interesting figure than what we've been getting recently. The packaging, let's take a look at it. Very nicely done. A good picture of him looking very menacing. Some offers for the online Clone Wars website. Let's look at the back of the figure. There is a brief bio of Savage Opress. Savage Opress is a dangerous assassin whose strength and abilities are enhanced by the Night Sisters, mysterious witches on the planet Dathomir. Opress uses menacing battle axes to deliver death and destruction at the command of Count Dooku and the Sith Lord's former agent outside of interest. And it does state that the battle axe fires a missile. And it has some pictures of the other figures in the wave. Okay, now let's take a look at this figure in more detail. This is what you get when you open it. You do get instructions uh, on putting together the battle axe. Um, it's, I guess it's for those of us who are a little more challenged. Uh, as you can see, it does have a projectile, but I really wouldn't say it fires. Unless I'm missing something here. But, uh, it definitely has a projectile that it fits in here. He also comes with a regular, more probably realistic looking one. And it has good detail on it. But this is actually better looking, I think. It comes with a uh, just battle game card. And the figure itself is very nice. The uh, comma is made with a little bit harder plastic. So uh, it's a little stiff, but that's okay. He's actually taller than the average figure, so uh, he kind of towers over other figures. Articulation-wise, he has a ball-jointed neck, ball-hinged shoulders, ball-hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel torso, swivel hips, ball-hinged knees, and that's it for articulation. No articulation on the ankles. He holds his weapon nicely. Definitely a good figure to display. Great detail. Even the fingernails. Anyway, there you have it. Savage Oppress. A good figure. A must own. I hope you enjoyed this review, so please rate, comment, and subscribe.